Hi there, this is Tara Zam and today we're going to have a different card by card feature instead of a tarot or an oracle card. We're going to feature this I Ching cards. It comes in this box and inside the box are what we need to use in determining the meaning of the hexagrams in feng shui application. So here's a brochure or instruction uh, pamphlet or literature. This can be moved and you can find the numbers there with the combinations and the hexagram. And this is also movable. And there are two more information pamphlets or flyers here, okay, with the explanations of the different combinations and what it means. I guess you use this when you use the coins. That's why it said heads, 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 tails, tails. So you somehow need to use a coin and flip the coins and with these combinations, it will tell you which line it is. And each of the line represents the line in the hexagram, as you can see, a broken line or a solid line. So here are the three coins and here are the cards. So again, you can see the combinations here. I mean the combinations of the he hexagrams. And each of the card, when you get a combination hexagram, explains what it means, the image, commentary. And it has a meaning to each of the lines. So sixth li the sixth line up there is solid. What does it mean? The fifth, what does it mean? So there are six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how you use this I Ching cards. And there are 64 cards all together. Well, because there are 64, apparently, apparently there are 64 combinations for the hexagram. So it's still the same. Each line being explained here. I just wanted to show you what the I Ching cards are so that in the event that you're quite curious then you have an idea before you even contemplate on buying it. So I won't go through each of the card anymore. That's all for now. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And until the next time, many blessings to you all. This is Tarazam.